Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 637, I think, I'm losing track. I'll remember soon. Uh, the topic today is why I love women, why I choose to coach the feminine. And I'll break it down a little bit in a moment. Before I jump in, yes, my head cold is making me more um, uncomfortable and my throat's on the fence. So if it's not breaking down in co coughing fits, I may quit early just so you know ahead of time. Um, hoping it's gonna be gone by tomorrow. I'm really condensing down my recovery time and doing lots of things to help me feel better. Uh, naturally speaking, that is. So anyway, before I jump into the topic, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help women create balance in love, life, and business. Because I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine, and the more women are in the feminine, the better off I feel. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I'll break that down in a moment. Um, and also what inspired these talks starting over two years ago, um, right after the election, actually. When I started doing this talks about masculine behavior and feminine respect or respect of feminine. So I may include that as well. So today we're at episode number 637. I think it's 637. I think. And the topic today is why I love women. And I'll explain that more than just because I'm a guy. Because it's tempting to say because I'm a guy I love women. Um, there's more to it than that. And also why I love coaching the feminine. Um, and this is beyond relationships. So if you're a woman in relationship or out of relationship, this may be of use to you. So feel free to stay tuned and see what you can take from this. It might be of help. First of all, up until 2007, I had no clue what masculine and feminine meant. I was out of the loop. I was not experiencing any understanding. And my relationships actually sucked because of the fact I was dating women who are more in leadership, as in masculine behavior, than I was. And I didn't realize until, thankfully with hindsight, I saw how backwards everything was. And I wasn't the man in charge. I wasn't leading the way and I wasn't being respectful of the women, in, at least in the three relationships. So that all ended or changed the beginning of 20, 2007 because I started looking for teachings, methods, understanding what it is that I might be off track with so I can find out what to do differently. And that's when I'm grateful to discover the whole conversation and the whole explorator, exploration of the masculine feminine paradigm. First of all, I learned that the masculine feminine paradigm is something that we all have innately within us, both. Also, I learned, and which has since incorporated in my work, how chemistry is largely based on polarity. So if your relationship chemistry is faltered, has gone away, has weakened, it's probably because your polarity has gotten softened because you become buddies instead of being polar opposites. And is that polarity like magnets that need to recharge so you can have a healthy sex life? That's a bonus teaching, by the way, because that's not something I'm going to teach you right now because I'll teach it in another, another part of my work. So... In my work with my clients, and I said I love working with women, one reason, one reason I work with women more than men is because, to be blunt, we don't listen very well as men. It took me a long time to get to this point, and I'm clear other men haven't even got close to that yet. So working with women is a lot easier because women, um, to be blunt, are willing to find out more. They're willing to learn, to grow, to transform, to change, and that makes my job easier. And of course, there are women who are afraid of changing, and that makes it more challenging. But I know deep down inside, women are craving their own authentic expression that, that supports them being owning their feminine gifts and talents in the world, with one caveat. As I mentioned at the beginning, we, we carry both authentic masculine and authentic feminine with us at all times. What happens though is we tend to naturally lean towards one side or the other. And generally speaking, again, these generalities I'm using here, not, not carte blanche, not, not, um, um, it's not black and white, is that men generally tend towards living in the masculine women tend towards working in the feminine except when it screwed up it was in my relationships i was more feminine we were day women than more of the masculine in fact a lot of the problems that are happening now for women is they don't know that their feminine powers are available so i'm watching my throat try to close up so okay that's better so women are unfortunately trained by the culture we live in to succeed they have to copy the men that's why a lot of women entrepreneurs are doing what men are doing in business they're doing the same thing they're basically competing with the men to get jobs done happy hours are the same thing they're competitive they're combative they're not romantic and it makes for a very messed up um chemistry or polarity between the two genders this is what messed up my love life dramatically back in the early, well, in the 90s and the early 2000s. So I'm very aware of the difference now and I'm very much passionate about standing in that. It also means to help me and help other men. I feel like as long as I help women own their feminine gifts, their feminine power, their feminine authority, 
by an act of um, displacement, men will then have to learn how to be more masculine because the men who are doing stupid shit, like triggering Me Too stuff and doing abusive stuff, they don't know what a feminine woman is because a feminine woman will, a feminine woman will cut their balls off. And I'm not going to get into detailed conversation about that, but there's definitely a missing piece in the gender conversation. Ladies, to be blunt, you have been told for centuries, for millennia, that you are second class to men. And it's not true. I did some studies a while ago, and there's some teachings from way back, um, the Gnostic scrolls that came out before uh, 2,000 years ago, that spoke about the goddess principle. Now, that isn't in the Bible, you may have noticed. That's because the Bible was written by men to control the population. Yes, I have an issue with the Bible. It's not a very supportive document for both genders. It's really biased about men controlling everything else. And it's not just every man. It's the pious religious men that are controlling everything. Hence the screw-ups happening right now with the Catholic faith and, and um, with the Pope that's causing all these problems because that old paradigm is still running. Anyway, we're not going to get into that part. That's a whole other conversation. So in my work and in my coaching, and I'm going to be brief because my throat definitely feels like it's not going to last much longer. I am passionate about women owning the feminine gifts, the feminine talents, the feminine power in the world and leading from there because ladies, we need you in leadership and we need you in leadership from a feminine place in collaboration, in cooperation, in harmony and also in decisiveness. There's a piece missing in our culture where women haven't been permitted, told or allowed except in small groups. And it's time to remove those barriers and make it fully equal because that's what we need. So a lot of my coaching my clients is helping them to realize their power, to own their gifts, and to start seeking ways through in a way that is collaborative and incorporating that doesn't threaten the status quo. It simply destroys it without anybody knowing. Yes, I'm, I'm surreptitious that way. So in my work, yeah, it's interesting it came out that way. It's true. I'm about changing the paradigm of the planet, changing the way men and women interact, but not doing it from some pulpit with, a, um, with billboards or with um, protest signs. I'm doing it more subtly because when it's done more subtly, women will win, men will win, and men will be basically um, along for the ride and realize afterwards it was worth the trip. So that being that, um, that's why we're women. That's why I'm driven by it, why I'm passionate about it. When I first, um, just to flash back to 2007, when I went through my first retreat that really dived deep into the masculine and feminine conversation, through the weekend events, the men and women spent a lot of time separately recharging their batteries and restoring themselves back to authentic masculine and authentic feminine. By the end of the weekend, the women were in the feminine and I was in awe. That was the memory that really drives everything I do. My respect, coming from England especially, having gentlemanly conduct and respect for women is innate in nature. But when I saw the feminine in her radiance in women in front of me, people, women I know, seeing them transform, I became so aligned and loyal to that energy. I have, I have no choice. I must do what I do, which is what I'm doing. So simply put, if you're a woman who's feeling stuck and you want some support, let's talk. I can help you. And if you're a man who wants to find out more about how I do this, reach out and I'll let you, I mean, let's talk as well. Um, I'll put some links in the comments for a discovery session. If you're a woman, um, if you're single, it'll help you. And I'll put a contact form link in the comments if you want to reach out and talk to me about this stuff, this conversation. Um, I'm going to wrap up quickly because my throat is definitely starting to feel the pressure. Hi, hey, Lisa. So you believe we can talk about genders in the US without talking about race oh yeah absolutely we can it plays a huge part and i'm still having a huge problem with that yes gender and and race are not mutually exclusive and we're not and it's not um it's not codependent we got an issue with race as well that's not where i'm focusing my energy today in this talk but definitely with the disrespect of women which is the same energetic of being right and wrong the fight for that we're out, we're out of alignment. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking to somebody on screen you can't see, you're probably watching this on YouTube. This is my Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So I'll tell you about that in a moment. Um, but yes, Lisa, absolutely. So having said all that, I'm going I'm to give you links to find my, brief, my replays and also I'll put the links in the comments for Discover Session and for a contact form as well so you can reach out to me. Um, I do my Facebook Lives at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually, on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. I then put the replays on my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. So you find all those there. You can like the page and follow my post there. Um, secondly, thirdly, I have a YouTube channel, which I've been populating with all my broadcasts. So if you're watching my stuff on YouTube, that's where you found me. Um, on YouTube, you can go to my channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. So you can watch them all there. And finally, I have a podcast, which I'm slowly filling up with broadcasts from my 
um, Facebook Lives. If you go to iTunes and look for Messages for the Masculine, you can subscribe to that channel and download the audio versions of my talks. I've only got about 40 up there so far. So with that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me. I'm glad my throat stayed intact before it wrapped up. Um, if you're a woman and you're not sure how to be in your feminine more, let's talk. If you're a man who doesn't know about his masculine, let's talk as well. I have connections for you that will help you with that. And if you want to know more about the whole conversation, I have a book I can recommend as well. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow at the same time. Hopefully my throat will sound a bit clearer and my nose will sound clear as well. Um, and with that, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Oh, Suzanne, what's it saying here? Women, women like men and any genders are the best and the most amazing people in the world. Yes, collaboration and harmony are the keys to foster peace and equality. And I'm a happy feminist and I'm always accentuating it. Yes. So the other thing about feminism too, there's a lot of mistaken labeling of that and also toxic masculinity, which neither one are accurate. So I agree with you and I appreciate you being a happy feminist. So thank you for letting me know that. So with that, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Um, same time, same channel. And who knows what to talk about tomorrow. Thanks for being with me. I will see you again soon. Bye.